Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I thought I'd give you guys one more video here. I thought I'd talk about color formats. Now this seems kind of like a weird uh, <laughs> topic, but I just wanted to address this really fast. I noticed something over the last few days of me uh, testing around and messing around with uh, OBS Studio, and I want you guys to check this out. This is mainly for, well, you know what, streamers, broadcasters, local recorders who do YouTube stuff, this is definitely for you guys. Now check this out. Um, your output, whatever you guys want your settings to be for recording, for streaming, that's good. Uh, that's fine. But here's what I want to address. Color format. Um, OBS Studio has a thing, a warning that pops up at the bottom that says, uh, color formats other than NV12 are primarily intended for recording and are not recommended when streaming. Streaming may incur increased CPU usage uh, due to color format conversion. Now check this out. I told you guys in the other video that I did for the NVIDIA encoder NVENC that it uses around 3 to 5% uh, processor whenever you are recording. If you have, it, it only does that though if you have it set to NV12. If you have it set to RGB, it usually jumps up between 11 and 14 percent of your processor which still you know for local recording 1080p 60 frames per second on an i7 2600k which is what I have that's not bad that's just fine it works fine for me um, but if you really need to conserve on your processor keep it on NV12 i420 seems like it's okay but I would prefer NV12 over top of it but don't use i444 half of your screen literally the bottom half of your video will pop up green and it won't play back right in like media player classic windows media player it'll play okay in vlc but it'll still have the half bottom green half bottom green i'm sorry i'll stop um now nv12 or rgb um looking at the two different color formats i prefer rgb but it's only by a little bit, only by a little bit. I mean, it is just, it, to, the, to the regular eye, to the regular individual, you cannot really tell a difference between the two unless you have like two standstill pictures that recorded the exact same thing standing right next to one another. That's the only way you can tell. YUV color space, 709 is meant for high definition. 601 is meant for standard definition. At least that's what I was reading. I could be wrong on this. That's my opinion based on what I read. But 709 would look better. And partial and full. I prefer partial. The reason why I say this is because I know a lot of people are going to come in and say, hey, full is better because it gives you better blacks. It gives you better, you know, better tone and depth when it comes to dark scenes in a lot of video games. A good, good examples would be Dead Space, the new Doom. Uh, Doom 3, you know, games that are just regularly dark. I disagree. When I set it to full, YUV color range full, the picture gets too dark. And I'm not talking about just black areas. I'm talking about all the color on the screen, the entire picture in its entirety gets a little bit darker. Just a hair, just a pinch, but it's enough to be noticeable to... You know, be able to tell the difference between what you see on your preview window on OBS and what you see in the video when it comes out. I still prefer partial. It looks the best to me. It looks fantastic. It keeps the brightness settings that you set up and the way it's all running, and it looks great. But this is what I run if I'm doing local recordings for now for um, NVENC, like I said, uh, RGB 709 partial. I run uh, for recording. NVENC, uh, VBR, 40,000, Blu-ray, high, auto. If you want to pause this because I'm going too fast, go ahead. Uh, that's my mic settings. You don't have to worry about that. But the audio, I have it running on its, set, its own separate thing. So it's audio track 2, 320 audio bit rate, so you get the best quality possible when you send it over to YouTube. And the best part about all this is that recording this way and recording the way I got it set up, I don't edit any of my videos. If I really wanted to, I could. I have made uh, introductions and stuff like that, but I'm getting kind of off a of color format. But the reason why I'm saying this is that I can throw these videos, these tutorials out on YouTube so fast with this setup, it'll make your head spin. Literally, I just finished a tutorial 
and it's uploaded right now. It's actually already done. It's ready to go. But I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have any other questions about OBS, OBS Studio, anything you guys want me to address that I have not already addressed, anything, go ahead and throw it into the comments, and I'd be more than happy to go ahead and address it in a video. I am here to help you guys. That is what these are all about. I am here to help those who need it. So if you guys need any help, be free to ask. I'm more than help, happy to help you guys out. All right, so thank you guys so much for checking this out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.